this is my daughter her name is Donald Short she's a retired member of the Guyana De Defense Force and she's now working at the veteran home she was married to Ray Short senior who is the father of Ray Short the deceased they are now divorced and in the divorce order I have it here it's stated here that she has full custody of the child and he has visitation rights his rights are that he gets this child every other weekend half of the school holidays and any public holiday at her discretion on the 23rd which was March day it qualified him for a holiday um, visitation okay he had wanted a child the day before but the child normally takes online classes so he was the mother told him you cannot get him before seven o'clock he came around seven thirty but six thirty and he collected the child waited until the online classes finished and then he collected the child and they left my daughter was at work and she saw him when she was coming back from work he was going out and she said she said junior she slowed down the car and she said junior be careful and for safe journey and he and because he and the father they were walking out and they left yesterday now which was the 23rd she was at work again and she received a call telling her to get down at diamond right away something happened to junior and it seems as though he might make it the veteran home is still in south so she called home here and my brother and one of my other daughters they went down to diamond just to view his body lying there pronounced dead on arrival I'm the type of person that I do not believe in untimely death. So, you know, we decided, well, perhaps that was raised time. But what we worried and, and very much perturbed about is that the father never, ever called my daughter to say that, well, what transpired. Anytime, anything we hear, is if we hear it from what the thing in Facebook or so, right? And this is how we pick up one or two um, things. We <laughs> I think my mother missed out that I had no, he never mentioned to me when he took my child that he was carrying him to the creek. My child told me, he said, Mommy, Daddy said, let me walk with a charge trunks. I said, for what? He said, Daddy said, we're going to the creek. I immediately text him. Look, the text is here. I immediately text him and at, I ask him not to take him to the creek because you know he cannot swim and I don't want him to go in any water because he cannot swim. He replied to me and he said that he would be okay. Jubilee have a, a, a pool for children mm -hmm. and he's responsible enough. He can take care of his child. So I want to know if this is the responsibility the father have. My child is dead. And I'm blaming Jubilee as much as the father for this. Jubilee never called me and Resort never called me and give me any word or tell me anything up to now. And I was made to understand I was up there today that I had no lifeguards there. So I want to know somebody tell me what is going on. I lost my child. 20 adults and 9 20 children. 20 adults and 9 children were there and nobody, no lifeguard, anything. And up to now, nobody can tell me anything in connection of my child death. So are you saying to date, you haven't heard from the father? He Did he call? The brother called. Brother and when call. the brother called, my daughter rebuke him and said man it's not you really supposed to call you mean to say no matter what is the issue with them 
if Ray could have called on it. And a little while after, her phone rang and he's going to greet her. Good day, Don it. And you know, she's just like, thinks she said, what's good about this day? And she threw down the phone. And like, he come off the phone. From then, this is all that she, those are all the, the only words that he spoke to her. Up to now. Up to to now. Then he gave this child's address as 56 Rob Street. This child never ever lived there. He's living there with a woman, and perhaps when he collect this child, he normally take the child there. But the child never lived there. I the child always child. with his mother. He's Can always with his mother. Give me full custody of my child. <laughs> Is he the only child for you? The no, but he has other sons. Boys, but he's the only son with father. <laughs> The only son that I expected him as he promised me in this text that he will take responsibility because I warned him. If you're going to take him there, don't want him in the water because we know he cannot swim. We. We know he cannot swim. So apart from the, the conversation that you had with him and you said he probably hung up the phone, he did not explain to you nothing, how did the child get into the nothing, water? Nothing, nothing, nothing up to now. No more communication nothing. from then to now. No communication. And I, what I want to say is not really what happened, right? It's his attitude. Now he's given wrong information with the child living and a whole set of wrong things you're hearing. Why? Why he's doing this and actually shutting? Because at least a lot of people must believe this child is a mother. But this is his mother and a very concerned mother that even if the welfare go to investigate, that is the reason why she got full custody. And he is an unstable father. Right, that's why they give custody to her for this child. And I can't see why with, in a situation like this, I think that he should have come. That was the time put aside all differences. Both of them had, they got a loss now, that they both lost a son. it. I am sorry because I gave you my word that I'm gonna take care of Ray. And he didn't do it. He's supposed to come to my child and tell me, sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. But he called me, Mrs. Shah, every day. Who, with mother, would sit down and lose a child in less than they how many in good order. God is right here. Look the art here. This is what the court said. And she was obeying a court order. It's a court no order. She was obeying. Strong, it's the child, child, the child strong, don't want go. And child. he just come and force healthy the child, child to go. Don't and want go. Remember want the court problem. order. She want problem. She just send him. I send him. I don't because he child bring don't the police home. She time. Yes. yes, he brought the police home and by her. he said her. that it's COVID and he's not going. And he said the court say he must get every other weekend. So he and he bring the police and he brought the police on me. Yes. And I have to explain to the police. And that was it. Can you say what school he attended? Yes. He's, he's right very he's secondary right there, Secondary. No going in second because you know due form to Form 1. Yeah. He's in Form 1. No Form no. 2. Form 2. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. He never get a... Yeah. He never get a Form 1 teaching because of the COVID. COVID. Uh -huh. So he went straight so into the Form 2. Okay. He's 13 years old. Uh -huh. and yet he's right very secondary. secondary. And then, then he don't he don't want to be heard through the grapevine that he took the body at Sandy's funeral home. When we went there, they said the father leave orders that he brought the body here. Nobody must come and see the body. So I had to make it known that I'm the carry mother this. and I had to carry my documents to show them. I'm in full custody of my child. He lives with me. He only get them on concessions from me and the court, right, at my discretion. And I present this and I was allowed to see my child.
ลายนอนได้สลับหูตาแฟนมาพี่บิเลตรัสดีใจได้ไหมที่งานที่ยังสมอร์ดมาอีกทีอันวีวันเดบาร์ดี because it's a v e n g e t i n the bar we want h o w o he g o n know this woman lost a child and the circumstances and still want to deny her the custody of her child body the next thing you know we might be no way to carry and bury because the um, grandparents the other side the paternal grandparents they live over the river so most most Probably they might want to carry me over there to bury. This is the mother. w o n t be alone. Why she c a n t get your child? I won't be alone body. with it because I'm in full custody of my child. The court grant me full custody. He lives with me all the time from the since time the from, from since the father leave the home. Matrimonial she home. got the the divorce on on the terms. d i s o r t i o n He deserted her. Well, okay, there's another story, but from then. This child never, never lived with him. Or never, with him. just weekends and holidays. At, at my discretion, and I send him because you know it's his birthday. It's his birthday, birthday, birthday this, right? This. And I decided, and I send him with the message. And then Take Sunday would be her birthday. So she said, "I don't want it for me birthday. Yes. Sunday coming, which is the twenty seventh, yes. and his birthday is the twenty third. So she said, 'Let go by father, by father birthday, and he gonna die by she for she birthday. This is how she does deal, right? Even though whatever is the difference, this is how she does deal with this man, and this is how he's gonna treat her. And I think that is not fair.'" So on behalf of um, myself and the entire team at Guyana Daily News, we want to take this opportunity to extend our condolences to you and the entire family. And we know at this time it's not easy to lose people that you love, you know. So I trust that um, with good health and strength, you can be able to quickly gather yourselves together and grieve, and you know, grieve. Should I say at the right time and in the right place, and may God grant you all the strength that you may need to get through this situation. Thank you very much. Just want people to know her side of the story because nobody knows it. They're just putting out their side of the story.